Welcome to the series grocery haul and meal plans. So I did have a couple of requests to do kind of go over my process for meal planning and to show it. And um, I have not finished my recipe binder. I have decided to do an electronic recipe binder. So I will share that with you when it's done. I'll be able to share my computer screen and I'll just do a voiceover and I will share that with you when it's done. But I did want to show you that I did um, once I get my meal plan done, then I also do my meal prep. So I just use these little sheets <clears throat> from um, Happy Planner, and then um, I just list out my meal plans. So I'll work on this over the next couple days and just be able to cross off my list and add on more if I think of it. So let me show you what this week's meal plan is. So then my meal plan, I actually used this planner today. So... Um, so the what did you see in this teal color is those are what I'm going to have. These are the Weight Watcher dinners. Um, sometimes the family will have them just depending on my husband can eat chicken. So if it's chicken, he can't eat it. Um, and sometimes my, my youngest always has what I have. He's 16. My 19-year-old um, sometimes does, but most of the time he just has what his dad has. So it just depends. So on Monday... Um, we are, well, let's first start down here because I do my planning, um, Sunday through Thursday. So this is set up Monday through Sunday. So this will be tomorrow night. I'm going to make a, um, roasted spaghetti squash with fire roasted tomatoes and chicken sausage. And then my family will be having no peak beef tips, mashed potatoes, fried squash, and corn. And oh, I want to mention Saturday is usually a leftover day. I'm going to clean out the refrigerator and then whatever is, I'm just going to put some stuff off to the side and that we've had throughout the week and that'll be eaten tonight and, or just, you know, whatever. I mean, there's always things people, they can just grab out of the pantry and eat. So it's my, this is my no cook day, in other words. Um, so Monday. So Monday, I'm going to have Swedish meatballs with salad and green beans, and this is using chicken meatballs. Um, the family is also having Swedish meatballs, but I will make them beef ones, mashed potatoes, and butter beans. Tuesday is going to be, I'm going to do a vegetarian taco salad, so I'm going to put roasted corn, black beans, and rice with mine, and the family will have just a regular taco salad with, you know, ground beef, taco meat, refried beans, and then I'll have guacamole and sour cream. Wednesday, I'm going to do a chicken and veggie stir fry, and my husband really likes chili, so I'm going to do chili and then grilled cheese and fries. My husband's really simple when it comes, that's what he wants his food to be simple. Um, I can't, every time I try any kind of fancy re recipe off of Pinterest, he's like, oh, can we just go back to something simple? So I keep it simple for him, that's why his meals are simple. Um, Let's see, what day is this? Thursday, I'm going to make buffalo turkey sloppy joes with salad, and then the family just have regular sloppy joes, corn, and fries. And then Friday, we always do some kind of takeout, just because that's the day I do my meal planning and grocery list. So then over here, well first here's my Costco list. So I have to make myself a really strict Costco list or else I go overboard. So that's my list for Costco today. And... Then my the rest of my grocery list, I just use this grocery list in the Happy Planner. So the only thing I don't like about using this is it separates a little bit differently than how I separate my list. So this has produce, so of course I had that before. Deli bakery, cereal snacks, drinks, um, dairy, canned goods, frozen, meat, condiment spices and staples, and miscellaneous. So I like to have a pet section because I do have cats, a cat and two dogs. Um, I also like to have a household section, so that's like the laundry soap, shampoo, you know, that kind of thing. And then the other thing I'm missing is like a dry section, so like whenever I want to need to get um, any like gravy mixes or I don't know, things like that that's not canned. But it's not frozen, it's not, you know, I guess I could go under condiment spices and staples. I guess I could go under there, or miscellaneous. So, I don't know, it's just set up a little bit differently, so it threw me off a little bit just because I have my system down when I write it down. But, um, yeah, so this is my list. And I always, and of course, there's never enough room for my produce because I get a lot of produce. So, oh, I need to write something else. Though. 
to get some apples. Okay, so that is my grocery list and my Costco list and my meal plan. So I am going to get ready and head out to the grocery store. See you all soon. Bye. Okay, so I just got back from our local grocery store. I still need to go to Walmart, so I'm going to film this first part and then go to Walmart and then you'll see the rest of the haul. So I got some angel hair coleslaw. This is just shredded green cabbage. I'm going to use this for the chicken stir fry. And then I also got some broccoli for the stir fry. And I got a different, a couple different of the chopped salads, but I haven't tried these ones before. So this is the farmhouse bacon chopped salad. This one is seven points if you use everything that's in here. So we have green cabbage, kale, romaine lettuce, carrots, red cabbage, roasted sunflower seeds, green onion bacon, and then an onion slaw dressing. So I will probably not use the dressing on this one. And then this one is four points for the entire thing. So and these are, serving size is one cup. And that one, and this one is also one cup with two tablespoons of the dressing. Okay, so this one is cabbage, tomatoes, romaine lettuce, broccoli, green olives, green onion, parsley, celery, and flatbread chips with a Greek vinaigrette. Then I got some shredded lettuce for the taco salad. And I got some turkey pepperoni. This is just for snacking. And this is one point for 16 slices. And I actually think you can go up to 18 or 19 slices still for a point on, this, on the armor kind. And some fat-free mozzarella for zero points for a quarter cup. And some fat-free cheddar, again, zero points for a quarter cup. This will be for the taco salads, and this one will be for the spaghetti squash, which I forgot to write on my list. So I have to remember to get that when we go to Walmart. And I got some oven-baked scoops, and these were four points for 16 chips, which I think you can have a little bit more, but I'm not sure because... I hardly ever can find the oven baked kind in my stores, so this is one of the first times I've gotten those. And some sandwich thins. These are three points. And I got um, black pepper beef for sandwiches, and you can have seven slices of this for one point, and that'll be probably for my son for his lunches. And then Canadian bacon. This is a smoked black pepper. You can have up to a three slices for zero points and up to five for one point. Have the Sara Lee bread. This is one point a slice. Have some yellow squash. I'll use one of these for the stir fry. The other one I will make breaded fried cabbage, I mean fried um, squash for him for dinner. I got some tomatoes. Some sweet mini peppers. I got a couple red peppers. One of these will be for the stir fry, the other one for snacking or chicken salad or something. Some carrots for snacking. I got some gala apples, a couple avocados. I don't have a plan for these yet, but I did pick up some sprouts also just in case I want to do the um, hummus avocado sprout sandwich. I have two big cucumbers for hummus. Some celery for hummus. Also, part of this is going to be for chicken salad. And there's something else I need celery for, but I don't remember. I have green onions. I got a can of black beans. This will be for the vegetarian taco salads. Some green beans. I think this will be for the Swedish meatballs tomorrow. And these are the tomatoes I use for my spaghetti squash and tomato um, dinner. So these are the fire roasted diced garlic tomatoes and I will, if I, I might do a short, cause I am trying to film everything that I eat today for, through the weekend. So if I can, I'll, sh I'll film a little short kind of like how I do my, um, spaghetti squash dinner. So, and I'm, I'll show that in my meal prep also how I roast it and I did get it can of chicken, which I bought this before I went to Costco and I ended up getting a rotisserie chicken. So I think I'll just put this in my pantry and use a rotisserie chicken for my chicken salad this week. I just got this to have on hand, um, barbecue sauce. This is the lowest point that I can find in my stores because we don't have the sugar-free kind anywhere. 
So for two tablespoons is two points. I got some of the holy guacamole cups and this is three points for a cup of these. And I haven't tried these ones yet. These are the white cheddar potato good thins and these ones were four points and you can have 23. I have my usual, it's like the generic brand of uh, Splenda. My normal fat-free half and half. They didn't have my fat-free cheese slices, so I had to get the 2%. That's one point a slice. Had to pick up some nutmeg for a recipe I will be filming for you guys. Another can of green beans. I got two of the 99% fat-free ground turkey breast. One of these will be for... I know I told you guys my meal plan, and I can't remember what these are for. So I needed two of them. That's Oh, I know one of them's for the Buffalo Turkey Sloppy Joes, and I don't remember what the other one's for, but anyways, I know I needed two. And then eggs. So that's it for this first grocery store, and I will be right back with the Walmart haul. Okay, so I just got back from Walmart. I only had to get a few food items, so I'll also show you the non-food items that I got. So I got a spaghetti squash, and like I said, I will show in my meal prep how I roast this up. And I got some chopped yellow onions, chopped red onions, I got some garlic and herb hummus for the garlic avocado um, sprout sandwich. I got three yogurts, I got some of the feta dill dressing. And then the non-food items, I got some fall candle waxes. So these are the ones I got. Cider House Donuts, Caramel Pumpkin Seeds, Pumpkin Apple Muffins, Cashmere Cream, and Baked Orchard Apple. I had some body wash, some vitamins. I got some, whatever these are, crystals for your wash. Some dog food, dishwasher stuff. And then this is what I'm going to do. This is a new workout video I got. So as soon as I'm done with the shred, which will be, see I did day three today, day two. I did day two today. So I have eight more days to do, and then I will start this um, next month. So and this is the same thing. It's 30 days, so it's four weeks, four workouts, and it's the same system. And then I picked up an exercise mat. So that's it. And you guys already saw my meal plan, so I will talk to you all soon. Bye.